The EcoSwing Superconductor project has reached a major milestone. This is a truly exciting phase of the project. We have completed the manufacturing, we have completed the shipment, and now we are here for the first ground-based test. At the Evers Dynalab in Bremerhaven on the German North Sea coast, the superconducting generator is being tested on a machine simulating the forces of the wind. With this uh, full-size ground test in the Dynalab, um, we can commission the complete system, we can test uh, the functionality of it. Green is the voltage of the converter yeah. and, and then uh, red is the actual current. Yeah. So we have a nice uh, ramp time and, and, yeah. and no oscillations, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. this is the overshoot you want? Yeah, I want a little bit overshoot yeah, yeah. to have a little dynamic and yeah. good. That's a very unique thing that we can uh, contribute to, to the consortium. This innovative way of testing a generator has many advantages compared to testing it at the top of a wind turbine. We have a lot more flexibility because at the twist of a knob we can adjust features, we can change parameters and we are very flexible here. The test is a milestone in a process that has involved production of superconducting tape at Tiva in Munich, testing of the production coils at the University of Twente in the Netherlands, and building rotor and stator at Jumont in France. Uh, Chao Wei, could you describe the pulse test? Right now, specialists from the consortium partners are working side by side around the test rig. When I'm here, I see people from, uh, from university doing really crude uh, craftsmanship work and actually uh, putting the theory into praxis and um, I think everybody here is really stepping up. We have pulled competencies from all different fields, from a lot of different companies, a lot of different countries and uh, we are really working as one team. One team in the middle of a process that can only be described as historical. These days we are testing the first superconductant wind generator in a test lab. So this is for us a very great pleasure to, to be part of this uh, project. And the perspectives are far-reaching. Personally, I think that uh, superconducting machines will be a natural part of products. But I also think we will see a lot of other appliances that will use superconducting materials. And we don't know what they are yet. Before then, much more testing is necessary, but at the test facility in Bremerhaven, the optimism is tangible. So far, we are extremely happy with the results. We have successfully cooled down the generator. The coils are even superconducting. So everything so far worked according to design, and we have been able to validate major design principles. So indeed, we are happy.